Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Shinga Online Math. In this video, I want us to work out a question from a 2023 paper 2. So this question was given as question 7a. It is on earth geometry. The question is, the points A, B, C and D are on the surface of the earth as shown in the diagram. Take pi equal to 3.142 and R equal to 6,370 kilometers. So this capital R is the radius of the Earth. So this is our diagram showing the points A, B, C and D. Then the questions that we want to answer are as follows. Roman numeral 1. Find the difference in latitude between points A and D. Two marks. Roman numeral two has got two parts. Calculate in kilometers the distance between A, A and B along latitude 50 degrees north. So two marks for that part. Then B, B and C along longitude 40 degrees east. So two marks for that part as well. So let us start with the Roman numeral one. So calculating the difference in latitude between points A and D. So here, these two points are falling on the same longitude. So that is why they are asking us to find the difference in latitude because they are positioned on different latitudes a is on 50 degrees north then d is on 50 degrees south so this means that they are falling on different hemispheres so if we have this situation then it means that to get the difference in latitude we we'll just simply add the two values that have been given on these latitudes so that is uh, 50 degrees plus 50 degrees since a is on 50 degrees north d is on 50 degrees south so the solution to this part is just adding the two values given so for roman numeral one we we'll just simply add 50 degrees so this one is the one on A plus the 50 degrees that is on D. And this is going to give us the following 50 plus 50 degrees. This is just simply 100 degrees. So this is the answer to the first part. Then... Answering the second part, Roman numeral 2, calculate in kilometers the distance between A and B along latitude 50 degrees north. So we want to get the distance of A and B along latitude 50 degrees north. Now here, these two points are falling on a latitude. And we know that a latitude is a small circle. Okay, so the difference that we're going to get, the difference will be difference in longitude. Since A is on longitude, 20 degrees west, B is on 40 degrees east. So we first of all get the difference in longitude. And we should also take note that these two points are falling on a small circle. Okay, and for that we're going to come up with it. The formula for calculating distance in a small circle. But first of all, let's get the difference in longitude. So, for 2a, getting the difference in longitude, so we're going to say theta, which is difference in longitude. So, if we've seen here, a is falling on 20 degrees west. So 20 degrees, then plus B is falling on 40 degrees east. So so 
So what is 20 degrees plus 40 degrees? So this gives 60 degrees. So this is the difference in longitudes. So they fall on different longitudes. And if you've seen, A is on west, B is on east. So we simply add the two values given there to get the difference. Then the formula for calculating distance AB is going to be as follows. Distance AB. I'm going to write it like this. Distance AB is equal to theta, which is Z, the difference in longitude, divided by 360 degrees, then multiplied by 2 pi capital R cos alpha. Now, why have we written this formula like this? So this is because this theta here is the difference in e longitudes. And then this alpha here is the latitude where these two points are. So they are falling on 50 degrees north. So this alpha represents e, the reading for the latitude where the two points are, A and B. So we just simply substitute now. We got theta 60. So this is going to equal to 60 over 360. Then times 2 times pi, which is 3.142. Then times uh, radius, which is 63, 70 cos. Cos alpha, which I mentioned that it is just 50. So 50 is the latitude. So we say 50 degrees. So then... All we should do here is just work with the calculator to calculate the distance a b so using calculator if you multiply multiplying here 60 times 2 times 3.142 times 63.70 cos 50 cos 50 at the end there so cos 50 this gives the 1,543,000 Nine nine. So this answer divide by three sixty here. So divide by three sixty. This gives the four thousand two hundred and eighty-eight. So let's write that four thousand two hundred and eighty-eight point three six six. One zero nine. So now, in the exam, you have to write your answer correct to three significant figures. So this will be distance AB is equal to. So here we've got a lot of significant figures, but we just want three. One, two, three. So now the number is in thousands. So we don't want to change the value, but we just want to round off. So we are going to round off 8 here. So this is going to be a 0, and then it will give a 1 to this 8. So this is 4, 2, 9, 0. So now this is kilometers, so km. Then we put a comma here, and the answer is 4,290 kilometers so that is distance a b okay moving on 
the last part of this question Roman numeral 2b we want to calculate the distance in kilometers between b and c b and c so b and c are falling along a longitude so this means that they are falling on a great circle and here the radius we are taking the radius of the earth which is capital r and for this the formula to use is just simply this formula so for b we're going to say distance bc is equal to so we're going to use theta to represent the angle difference then over 360 degrees times 2 pi capital r so this is because the two points are falling on a great circle so for that we use this formula here distance bc is equal to theta over 360 times 2 pi capital r now for theta what is theta so theta is uh, if you look at b and c b and c are falling on this longitude so this means that uh, the difference is in terms of uh, the latitudes they fall on different latitudes b is on 50 degrees north c is on 50 degrees south so the difference is uh, addition here 50 plus 50 what we get is 100 so 50 plus 50 this gives you 100 degrees so that is our theta so then distance bc is equal to so theta we're going to put 100 degrees then divided by 360 degrees multiplying to times 3.142 times the radius of the earth 63.70 so working with a calculator here we're going to get the following distance b c is equal to so multiplying 100 times 2 times 3.142 times 63.70 so this gives you 4,2908 start divide by 360 this gives you 11,000 nine point one eight 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 nine so eleven thousand one hundred and nineteen point one eight 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 nine so this is what we're getting so now rounding off these correct to three significant figures this will leave us with the following distance bc is going to equal to so rounding this one off to three significant figures it will mean that we will remain with the one 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 so we need to get rid of one and nine here so now these will just tend to zeros because if you've seen here we want to remain with one 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 so rounding off this here this one is going to give a zero to this one and these will just be zeros so we're looking at eleven one zero zero now this is kilometers so eleven thousand one hundred kilometers is the distance between b and c all right so this here is the solution for the first part of question seven which is seven a 
Okay, thank you so much for watching this video.